All right, let's take our lettuce up to the, whoa, mother of pearl. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're gonna have to fix this issue here. Okay, you guys didn't see that. Nothing happened. Welcome back, everybody, to uh, Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, it took me a second to realize what game I'm playing here. Um, so I loaded up the lettuce and the eggs, as you can see. It is June the 3rd, by the way. Uh, our hay is all harvested. Our fields are all rolled. Our straw is put away in the barn. And uh, we need to start thinking about maybe getting another shed here, because... Yeah, uh, we got a, a nice little pile of straw in there, and we're gonna get be probably getting more of that, and definitely more hay. So yeah, we might need to think about that. Um, I also sold my little roller that I used to store over there in that third bay in the shed, and I purchased a second one of the um, Gutlig goot rollers or whatever they are, and I had to put it in here because there's no room in the shed for it. A gooler, yeah. So now I have two of these. Um, I just love these things because, you know, they're both a metal roller and a soil roller. And if I get uh, the worker going on it and I'm going on it at the same time, we can really knock the rolling out quickly. Uh, anyway, Mama Jo has the best price on eggs, but she does not have the best price on lettuce. So that's why I disconnected the trailer. Um, let's go back to here for a second. She's, yeah, she's given twelve eighty eight for eggs. And I think the bowling alley is the best on lettuce. Nine sixty five, yeah, for the bowling alley. All right, so let's sell these eggs to Mama Joe. Fast food restaurant here. I can never quite get two full pallets in a, in a, a single month. I could if I had more days in the month, but I kind of like three days per month. It, it works out pretty good. Uh, oh, nice. $3,221. bucks. That's not bad, actually. Um, I, I usually do most of my work on the first day of the month. But, you know, there have been times when I've really needed two days to get everything done. But the second day is fine, too, because... You know the sales can change and so it, you know it gives us an, another opportunity for something to change in the sales and if nothing happens on the second day you know then i just sleep it's not a big deal uh, so i kind of like the three month uh, setup that we're going with here all right let's take our lettuce up to the whoa mother of pearl <laughs> yeah all right so we're gonna have to this issue here okay you guys didn't see that nothing happened move along nothing to see here was not expecting that to happen anyway um what was i saying i don't remember what i was saying mm, yeah i don't remember well anyway let's go up to the bowling restaurant and uh, get this lettuce sold and then we're uh, but our, our major plan for today is to get our new field plowed and extended out to the road. So that is the main thing we are going to do today. I'm low-ish on money. I'm 20667 Um, Just because, you know, leasing the very expensive haying equipment that I did and purchasing that second roller, which was fourteen grand or something like that, but it's just really worth it because that second roller, you know, having the larger roller just makes a big difference in getting that knocked out very quickly. You stupid, stupid dummy head! Hey, 
8,685. That's kind of low, but it is what it is. I really would like to get a cold storage solution, but I just, I don't think we can afford to do something like that just yet. But it is my intent at some point during this playthrough, uh, we'll have to do this with a mod, is to get a warehouse, a pallet warehouse that lets you store anything, any kind of pallet in it you want to. <clears throat> and we'll just assume that it's cold storage. I'll try and find, uh, you know, the best mod I can that fits that description. But I haven't really found one that's specifically cold storage, though. And then what we can do is we can just start storing up our pallets of produce and eggs and then sell, you know, sell them when the price is good. Now, I know in real life, lettuce, even in cold storage, lettuce is still not going to last a long time. So, you know, we might have to, I don't know what to do about that. We might have to just say, screw it, we're going to not worry about that and store it and sell it once a year for a, a huge profit. Or maybe what we'll do is we'll sell it maybe, say, like three times a year. So, you know, give it four months. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. I'll have to give that some consideration. I like realism, but I also know that, you know, when you're playing video games and stuff, you need to, you need to balance those kinds of things with practicality and what, what really works. Because we're... You know, we're kind of screwing ourselves with by selling this produce every month, uh, uh, you know, when the prices are really bad. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and disconnect the U. And I think we're finished with our pickup. I don't think we need to do anything in the greenhouses. Yeah, we got lots of water, a lot of fertilizer. Chickens are just happy as a clam with all the food that we got from our barley field and we have three more almost three more full silos worth in storage uh, over at the train station at the uh, grain west silo and i'm fully expecting that to last with the rest of this year and probably even a little bit into the next year now what i haven't what i haven't decided yet or determined yet is um, what I'm going to plant in that field once I plow it. But one way or the other, it's got to be plowed. It's got to be de-stoned. It's got to be limed. Um, you know, we have to get those three things done first uh, before, you know, before we make that decision. All right, so here is what I'm thinking. I've got the... Uh, I got this subsoiler, which is also a field creator because of the mod. Um, but it's only four meters. So I, I'm considering maybe leasing a bigger plow. And what, I'm, what I'll do is I'll use the subsoiler to, you know, create the, the field boundary, but then put the AI loose <clears throat> on a plow. So this is the largest available plow in the game. And... To lease this sucker is going to cost us 3800 bucks, which I think we can probably afford. So what I could do is I could set the AI loose. <clears throat> you know, once I get the borders established, I can set the AI loose on this. And I could still, you know, run the subsoiler too. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. But let's... Let's wait until we're ready for the AI before we actually do that. Okay. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a bit I'm a bit torn about what to put on the field. It seems to me like the thing that would make the most economical sense for us is to just put hay on there, or grass more specifically, uh, because you know then it just adds to our silage harvest. And we're going to have a huge paycheck, you know, when we sell that at the end of the year. And if we did do that, we can always replant something else later. We're not like stuck with hay forever, you know, once that, once that does happen. But 
I'm just trying to, you know, I'm trying to think. The chickens go through approximately 700-ish liters of feed per month. Um, so basically, this is, I think these are 9,000 liters. So if it's 700 liters and it's 9,000 when it's full, that's that's almost an entire year, though. No, I don't think that's correct because we completely filled this up last month. And now one month has gone by. We completely filled it up in... No, 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 no. We, we completely filled it up on June 1st because that's when we harvested. So three days have gone by and they have used... Uh, t about 1,200 liters. Okay, so so we have to figure they, they use about 1,200 liters per month per, based on upon our three-day months. All right, now that we have figured that out, then that means that it's going to run out in about seven and a half to eight months-ish. Here, let me do this. If we go 9,000... Divided by well, 100, 7.5. So seven and a half months. And we have, th we have, let's just say for the sake of argument, we have three full silos in storage. We don't have quite that much, but we just about do. Okay. So that means then seven and a half, 21, 22. So we have about 22 months worth of feed. That's almost two years worth of feed stored up for these guys. So, yeah, that, that's an even stronger argument for us to go with hay right now. Now, I just want to reiterate something to all of you guys that are, you know, are watching on a regular basis. You know, we are in the hay business. That's kind of our main thing, but that doesn't mean that's all we're ever going to do. I do definitely want to get some production chains going when the time is right. But, you know, those are expensive. They're expensive to buy a you have to you have to buy the production chain first so you know i'm thinking about like for example a grain mill that's eighty thousand dollars just to buy the doggone thing whether we you know buy one and place it ourselves or buy the existing one but then you have to be able to supply it and so you know for example if i'm going to buy the grain mill i've got to have some pretty decent sized fields growing grain to supply that to then make the flour um you know which is what it produces I want to do that. I plan on doing that, but we just have to be set up for it. Um, is what I'm what I'm saying. So it's just going to take time, and it seems to me like if we just keep doing the silage for now, um, you know, we're going to build up our capital to the point where we're going to be able to to start doing stuff like that. This first, you know, big silage sale that we that we just did this last year, you know, a big chunk of that went to paying off the loan, which was something we needed to do. Um, so no regrets at all, but it's just, you know, how things are progressing, I guess, is what it boils down to. Anyway, um, all right, let's go over to... So here's the, here's the other thing I've been thinking. I mentioned this in the last episode. I've been thinking about plowing this road. And... And not so much because we'll get a tiny bit more yield, which we will, but because it really messes up the AI if I assign them to do this field. Because they see this as two separate fields. And the other thing is, is, you know, this is a grass field, so we can drive over it. We're not going to ruin any crops by driving over it. So, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm really thinking maybe we should just do that. What we could do is we could kind of start here and just kind of cut to here and just you know join up with that there and then just plow this this road under I like the road there I think it looks neat it kind of makes sense but then again it kind of doesn't make sense I don't know. I'll think about it. I mean, I, I don't have to do this right this second. I can do it any time because I own this subsoiler, which is also a field creator. 
Okay, anyway, let's uh, let's get moving here. So the plan is that we're going to bring the field all the way to the edge of the road. Uh, and we're going to also cut it to the edge of where I mowed with the grass. Or, you know, at least what we'll do... I mean, I'm going to eventually buy that field too, and then I'm going to join them all together. So we'll probably just do one subsoiler's width all the way up that way. Okay, and then and we're gonna plow this to the to the road to the edge of the road. So from here to there, I'm gonna time lapse all all of this. So that's why I'm kind of explaining ahead of time what I'm gonna do, um, and then we'll time lapse it when we do it. And then you know we're gonna plow all the way to the road, and then you know plow along the road all the way up that way. The only thing I'm 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 wondering about is this really steep spot. Um, that could be interesting with a combine there, you know? So I'm wondering if, you know, we're gonna plow this little section here too, that, you know, where we cut the grass. But I'm wondering if what we should do here is maybe plow to here and then kind of do like a little angle down here so it's just not so steep because you know that's just I don't know how a combine would be able to handle that I suppose we could do it and just try and see what happens the mower can handle it obviously because I've already mowed it yeah I, I don't know well I'll have to think about it I guess the other thing I could do hmm, no I was gonna say I could try and level it up a little bit but that that might be I don't know more trouble than it's worth and it would probably cost some money too well any hoozle um, I'm gonna get started I'm gonna outline the field and then I might I don't know do we really need do I really want to spend money on that big plow and have the AI help me I don't know I'll think about it I might just decide to buckle up and do the whole thing myself it'll take a while but it's also going to save some money so one way or the other we'll get it done one way or the other okay so we are going to start right here and go just along the road Let's do a, a save. Got the lights on. I think we're lined up pretty good here. Now, we want this to allow create fields, which I think it's already on, right? No, we have to... We have to put that on. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, like I said, I'm going to time lapse this. Enjoy the music and enjoy the plowing. Let's do it.
let your body go hungry heart it's not easy to start over i've been there a couple of times starting that skin oh it feels like a long run up here just stay still take the smallest breath the shortest steps it's enough take it easy and let your feelings out don't push them aside
All right, guys, we have uh, prepped the field. Uh, it is ready uh, to plant. Uh, I went ahead and just limed the whole thing, even though the whole thing didn't need it, just because I didn't, I don't know when the last time it was limed. Uh, so I just did it all, plus lime's really cheap anyway. Uh, so we got that done. I also got this really nice uh, coon spreader off of the Mod Hub. And uh, it does, you know, as you saw in the video there, it does the 42 width uh, lime spread and has options for different capacities. Uh, I just leased it, but if it comes up on sale, we might go ahead and buy it because I, I like it a lot better than that other modded one I tried just because it has a lot more capacity. Um, so I think, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and just plant grass on the new field um, and because I think that makes the most economical sense for us to do at this time since we're still trying to build up our money. So that doesn't mean necessarily that that field's always going to be grass or more specifically what it means is that it is definitely in my plans to eventually you know, start growing other crops besides just hay. But for now, hay is really our, our best bet for, for building up our money, I think, uh, you know, with where we are. Okay, and I kind of talked about that a little bit maybe earlier in this episode or in a previous episode. I can't remember. It's actually uh, the next day for me in real life finishing up this episode. So that being said, um, yeah, we're just going to load up the planter here uh, with grass seed and plant grass. Now, there's supposed to be a way that I can run a couple of these together. So let's go to planters. Uh, no, not planters, sorry, cedars. And it's only 6,000 um, bucks to, to just buy it actually, but it's just, there's no other option other than just, you know, the, uh, the tire but I think what I'm just gonna do is lease a second one it's only 306 bucks for now um, that way I can either hook two of them up if I can figure it out or if I can't I can at least get the AI working on one side of the field while I'm doing the other side of the field and uh, I'm not sure how much seed I have either we have some seed in here what's it say 157 liters, that doesn't seem like very much, so we might need to buy some more seed too, but that's okay, seed's not that expensive. But let's see if we can, oh, we don't need this spreader any longer, so let's return that. Yeah, very happy with, with that spreader, uh, much better than the other one that we had. Uh, if you're, I don't know if I showed this to you earlier, but this is what's in the sales. Another trailer would be nice, but not super essential, and my money's kind of low right now. Um, there's a really nice Fent tractor for sale, but uh, again, it's outside of our range at the moment. Uh, we don't need this cultivator. We don't need the forage header. Uh, we, you know, we, we're going to want something like that eventually. And then there's also this really nice Challenger tractor, um, but it's over two hundred thousand dollars. So, yeah, that's what's in the sales right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in the New Holland here and see if I can figure out how to hook these spreaders up together. I know you're supposed to be able to do it, but I've never tried it, so... Because if I can run them both, you know, then I don't really need to pay a worker to help me. Or either that, or I can even get a third one going, for that matter. But our field's nice, nice and, and big, but it's still not really what I would call a big field, uh, a super big field. It's the biggest field we own so far, put it that way, but it's still not enormous. We did increase its capacity by about 30%, though, you know, by adding the stuff to it. So that's cool. So I think these little thingamadoodles on the side are supposed to come out. Maybe it'll just hitch automatically if we get close. Well, not automatically. It's not giving me the option for that, but can I come over here and, oh yeah. Very cool, look at that, all right. I thought though, I thought though that this was supposed to extend out so they're not overlapping. Because right now, see they're gonna be overlapping each other. 
Is there anything in here? Lower cedar open cover. Hmm. All right, guys, I'm back. I figured it out. So I have to be in the tractor, and then I hold the mouse button down, and then I slide that bar out, and then the right mouse button slides this bar out. Very cool. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Let's... Um, I'm going to actually fill these up with fertilizer, too, and seed, and then we'll kind of kill two birds with one stone. Um, let's grab the rest of the seed we have currently, and then we're going to have to uh, buy some more. Hopefully I can reach in there and grab that guy. Should be able to. Put some lights on here. Do these have a uh, valve on the bottom? Uh, yeah, they do. Okay. There we go. Just have to get a little closer to it, I guess. Here, let's get more in the middle. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna need to buy some more seeds, so let's do that. We didn't have very much in there. Um, let's see what we can do with one bag, and if it's not enough, we'll get two. Oh, it's close enough to that cedar that it's already <laughs> waiting to put some of it in. It's not telling me how much seed I have. You know what, though? I'm just going to fill them both up. And then, you know, if we have some left over, we'll, we'll always use it. You have to get it right in the right spot there. Okay, how much seed did we get in here? It's 39% full. That'll probably be enough. Um, yeah, it'll probably be enough. If it isn't, then, like I said, we'll uh, adjust accordingly. Okay, now let's fill them up also with fertilizer. This is such a handy machine because it's a cedar. It's a direct drill, so it'll cultivate for you if you didn't already. Um, and it'll fertilize all in one. And it's really inexpensive too compared to the other, I guess what you'd call more modern stuff. Oh, and you can hook them up. You know, I could even get a third one if I wanted to and do run three. I don't think we need to for our field, but maybe later on when our fields get really big, we might do something like that. So we'll just do the same thing here. We'll fill that all the way up. And if we have some left over, we will always be using it. We use fertilizer for contracts too, so. Okay. Get it in the right spot here. Okay, <laughs> uh, let's get one more bag of furt.
and uh, hopefully that'll be enough to fill this up. Come on. It's weird that it wants to be on the edge instead of over the middle. Looks like I'm spilling it all over the ground, but... Alright, I guess that's full. It doesn't look full. Alright, well, I guess that's good enough. I was going to keep it on there, but I guess it wanted to get off. All right, now let's jump in here. And we'll back, whoops, uh, back up to this hitch. Um, yeah, I think I want it on the right-hand side, actually. Uh, so maybe it might be easier to do this. Let's see if that's close enough. Okay, I'm going to super strength this because you'd be able to pick this up and grab it and drag it over in real life. All right, why is it not hitching though? It's going to go right in that pin. There we go. Okay. So we don't actually need this other one sticking out, but now it's not letting me... Oh, I know why. I need to switch to this one. Okay. We can just put that back in. That is cool, man. I love it. Now we just got to be able to get it out to the field. <laughs> See if I can get it around this way. Look at that. That is just the best thing ever. Okay. So, yeah, let's take it out to the field and give this a shot. Um... if I could get through there. Yeah, let's just let's just go around. In hindsight, I, I probably should have and still could, I guess, if it really becomes a problem, but I could just pull them both out to the field first. So yeah, we'll probably buy a third one of these. Well, we have to we didn't buy the second one either. I'm leasing it right now, but eventually I could see us having, you know, three of these or maybe even six because they're that inexpensive. And then I could run three and then the AI could run three. You know what? That sign doesn't need to be there. <laughs> um all right, let's not drive across this guy's field even though it's not going to really hurt if we do. I think I'll start on the other side of the field since it's more of a straight line and then worry about this side later. And you know, there's probably going to be a few areas that I'll have to touch up later with just a single seater. Let's see if I can get it more or less 
in position. Okay, swinging a little too wide there. Blech. I think that's going to get it right almost about where we want it. It'll take a little bit of getting used to how this... Okay, so there is kind of a line right at my left front tire. And if I'm straight up on that, that's probably about where we want to be. Now, is there any way I can back this up without screwing it up? Probably not. Okay, well, I know where the line is. So let me turn around again, because now I know what to line up on. There we go. Okay, so let's open up this menu and we want to lower that cedar. I don't think we have to turn these on. I think they're wheel driven. Okay, and we'll pull to there and then we'll switch to this one. Lower that cedar. This fruit cannot be planted in June. All right, we have to change that to grass. Okay, I'm sure glad the game doesn't let you do that accidentally. Um, so we need to select grass. There we go. Now it should be good. I got off my line a little bit there. Okay. This is great, man. This is really a real really economical way to do this. I love it. Look at those things go. I think I don't think we're missing a white strip there. I think that's just the tire yeah, that's just the lime from the tire, because that's what that dirt mod, that's a feature of the dirt mod. So, yeah, we're good. How clever, man. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to let you go here, and I'm going to spend, uh, you know, the rest of the time here getting the field seeded with grass. Uh, next month is July, and that means that we are going to have... Okay, hold on a sec. Let's lift this one up and pull this one up to there and then lift it up. There we go. Hopefully no trains coming. Um, Yeah, so we're going to have, uh, you know, the next, uh, the second cutting of hay in July and probably a bunch of cultivating. So uh, we'll make a lot of money uh, doing that. And then, um, yeah, we'll go from there. So um, with that, I'm going to say goodbye to you guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. I'm just trying to... <laughs> I know I've totally screwed up my outro here. I'll probably have to do a headland afterwards. Um, but anyway, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Tractor looks like a powdered sugar donut. <laughs>